Hey guys, so we're here right now with John Redinger. Um, wanted to just get your initial thoughts on the Cybertruck, yeah, and now that it's here, it is here. It's it's in front of us. You can touch it, <laughs> and it won't leave fingerprints. It, that's true. Uh, what do you think? I mean, it's weird because like it's yours, right? So I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything bad. No, you you say whatever you're thinking. So uh, first, it looks a thousand times better with your wrap. Okay. I don't know if it's going to translate on camera, but it looks like a matte sort of shiny, it looks like metal. Yeah, Still yeah, without exactly. being like a flat, a flat wrap. Yep. I think that looks awesome. The more I look at it, I can't believe this thing actually is like a real, like that exists on the road. Well, I was mentioning how it took me a couple days to actually, yeah. you know, finally get through my brain. This is an actual vehicle that I have. Yeah. I'm able to drive. So it is uh, very, very odd. It's, it still <laughs> looks like unrendered, like to my eyes. Yeah. Like it should, I'm waiting for it to come into focus. Yeah. There's a lot of things that really, so I came in with a bunch of preconceived notions, right? I read about it. I was there at the announcement four years ago, but seeing it, I think is changing a lot of those. Um, and I'm sure it's a vocal minority, but I keep hearing about build quality, yeah. giant panel gaps in the back, huge rust marks on it. Now you said you had some when you took yeah. delivery, yeah. but your build quality is pretty good. Like really good, especially your VIN is like mid 500s, which yeah. is, which is nuts. Um, I've been impressed with that. Um, honestly, how comfortable the car is was surprising. The tech, I thought, was awesome. Tesla always does that well. Yeah, yeah, they do. I still think it's crazy for a foundation series, though, when you go into your settings to be like, full self-driving beta, like coming soon with future yeah, update. Yeah. I know that's like a vision-only thing in hardware for that is surprising. Um, how big the truck bed is is yeah. nice. I have yeah, a, let's go look at yeah. it. Yeah, so I've got a, a Rivian it's actually parked right there. Um, with a much smaller truck bed, but like a six by four bed is like legit. It's like a legit truck bed. It's usable, right? Yeah. Um, every time I use a tonneau cover on my Rivian, I'm like, oh, this thing's gonna break. Um, this is really good. Like the mechanism is really awesome. How quick and how fast it goes, and then drops down. And that sound, I don't know why. I love the way that sounds. It's like super satisfying. <laughs> it really is. Um, I mean, this is your, your, your truck, so I, you'd be able to talk about it better, but blocking the rear window seems weird, right? It's, that's the number one thing that I haven't got used to yet. The steer by wire, yeah. the, the all four wheels turning, uh, the attention I'm getting, I, I'm getting used it, to all that. Is it like a lot of attention? It's a lot of attention. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, I've had people stop and ask me if I'm filming a movie. I've had, I've, I've had it all. I mean, even in the two hours that we were here, like people are stopping by and asking you questions, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, it's, but it comes with the territory, yeah. right? But I think you have that um, perspective that obviously I don't have in regards to you have a Rivian. Yeah. And so you're able to really do that comparison and go, okay, how does this look and feel compared to my Rivian? So that's why when you talk about the Tonu, that's, yeah. a, that's a great point. Yeah, my Rivian feels like a tiny, tiny little toy compared to this, uh, in, all, <laughs> in all candor. Um, I'm not huge, but sometimes I want to get stuff out of my truck bed. Yeah. And like, yeah, that like you can't. That is definitely. Like you can't do that. Yeah. You can't do that good. here. God forbid something uh, flies up to the front and towards the cab, right? Yeah. You're going to have yeah. to climb in there. Um, I really like, I keep, like, ah, oh, could I drive it? I keep going back and forth on it. I think I'm like, I go through with both of your kids. I'm like, ah, oh, I love it. Yeah. Don't pick me up in it. Yeah, exactly. like, I don't, I don't yeah. know. Exactly. Um, but I think you probably knew that when you got it, right? It's, a, it's polarizing. It's polarizing. Yeah. You, we were just talking about it earlier. It, you have the group of people who love it yeah. and are going to love it because they just love it. And then you're going to have the group of people that just absolutely hate it. And yeah. there's nothing you can do to convince them. Otherwise, they're just, they're, they just don't like yeah. it. And that's okay. That's what makes the world go round, right? I think your point, you said it, like, if you need a truck for truck things, this is probably not it. But if you want like a great car that can do some truck things, this is probably a really good way to go. Exactly. And I, I feel the same way about, about the Rivian too. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Well, now you need to get behind the wheel. Let's do it, man. And drive it, and then we can circle back around. Cool. All right, so we're here with John. You drove the truck. I did. Um, I would just want to see your thoughts. What do you think of it? How does it feel? Yeah. Um, actually, before we get there, you've driven many EVs. I have. From years, right? Mm -hmm. What are some of the EVs that you've driven? I mean, in that parking lot over there, Ralph and I almost got arrested uh, driving the uh, Mitsubishi iMeve. Uh, uh -oh, so we're driven, <laughs> we actually raced it on foot. 
every Rivian um, F-150 Lightning, Mach-E, Ford Focus Electric. Lucid. Lucid. I mean, I've driven most. And you've had every Tesla. Except the Roadster and okay. uh, a Y. But I've driven the Y. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then with all that being said. Yeah. How does this compare? What is? How does this feel compared to those vehicles? So first, thank you for letting me drive it. That, that's a huge one. Um, it was my first drive by wire, actually. So I don't know, it's hard if it was like the drive by wire experience, the Cybertruck or kind of everything. Uh, I came in, admittedly, I came in not expecting much from the drive here. Uh, it drove really well. The drive by wire was, uh, you get used to it very quickly. Yeah. Um, I thought your analogy of like, when you first drive an EV, their generative braking takes a while to get used to. It's the same thing with a drive-by wire. But once you're used to it, it's hard to hard to go back. Yeah. Uh, this thing is gigantic, and the turning radius is nuts. Yeah. So I mean, the rear-wheel steering was awesome. It drove it drove really well. It is like strange because like the hood looks small, but then from where the driver sits to here is so far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like you're that dashboard, right? Yeah, it seems huge. I feel like you're almost pointing it when you park, like one of the old Cadillacs. Like it's, yes, it's, yes, it's like a boat, yes, yeah. you know, when you're pointing it. Um, but it drove really well. And I, I came away much more impressed with the car than when we started filming. And I guess it's a testament to, like, Tesla knows how to make cars. Yeah. Um, and this is definitely their, like, top. And and you drive a Rivian right now? Yeah, R1C. Okay. Everybody wants to know that, right? Everybody wants yeah. to compare the two. How do they compare? I mean, I like the size of my Rivian a lot more. Okay. Um, just for the smaller, like just the smaller size. Um, that drives more like a regular car. That drives, you can, anybody can step in, drive that and feel super comfortable. This felt like different. And I think people are gonna either like it or not. Um, they both drive, I don't know how to like, articulate it. I think I'm preferential to the Rivian because I'm used to it. Okay. I think if I drove this for a few weeks, I'd probably flip and prefer the drive by wire on a regular basis. Okay. Okay, and comfort level, because the Rivian is very comfortable. You let yeah. me drive it. Yeah. It's very comfortable, but what are your thoughts on the difference? The, ri the Rivian was really comfortable. The headrest is super hard on that. Yes. It like, is. it's let's say a rock yeah. on yeah. it. Um, I thought pretty equal, though, comfort, though, in all honesty. I think my Rivian seats are awesome. Yes, they are. Um, these are really good, too, though. Uh, I, I, give, I give comfort a uh, toss-up, but rear passenger room would have way more comfortable in here than in the back of my Cybertruck. I put my three kids across and they're pretty tight. Here they'd be like palatial yeah, amount, of, plenty of uh, amount of space to kind of hang out. Yeah. Okay. Well, last question. Yeah. You're gonna buy one. I have one ready to be configured. <laughs> my biggest obstacle, and I think probably for a lot of people out there, is my wife. <laughs> She's like, no, don't well, do it. Well, we've talked about yeah, that. Yeah, so. like, don't do it. <laughs> I think if I didn't, honestly, I think if I didn't love my Rivian so much, I would do it. Okay. I just, I love, it's like, it's the perfect size. It's a perfect family car for me. Um, so probably not, but like, I don't know, check back. But, in a few, check but back maybe, after, but maybe. maybe. I'm not saying no. Okay. Maybe. Um, before this, I was like, no, definitely not. Now I'm like, mm, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. You may have to take it to your house and uh, show her. Sure, like, uh, <laughs> see what she thinks. So, all right, John, Eric, I appreciate pleasure, your time. Thank, Thank you, you so man. much. All right, guys. Check him out, man. He's good. Oh. Subscribe. Give him some love. Thank you. Thank you. Get to see the beast on a daily basis. He's got to get a better name for it, though. I, I'm trying to figure that out. All right. Let us know yeah. in the comments <laughs> like what he should be naming it. And also, don't forget, the best thing you can do for a creator on a channel that's on the newer side is watch the videos for as long as you can and click through when you see them go up on social. The click-through rate and the watch time We'll help Eric, I think, become the premier Cybertruck creator like he deserves in the world. Appreciate it. Kind words. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yep. Thank you.